Hey store fam! Hey hey hey! Welcome back to our channel! Welcome back! My name is Faith. My name is Michael. And we are the, the Store Lovers. Lovers! So if you're new here, we love you. Thank you for stumbling on us. We are glad that you're here. Please make sure you stay behind, watch more videos, subscribe, check us out, you know, like this video, like other videos and a lot more. Yeah. And if you're a returning subscriber, we love you. Thank you for coming back as always and um guys we still have our goal in mind yes <laughs> we still have our goal in mind i know that fine we've been a bit busy with our with our lives but we are putting up structure to like be a be bit more, more consistent yeah. on youtube so guys please subscribe share with someone share this channel with someone you know we still want to reach 100k by the end of the year share with someone extend this video if you, every single one of you that watches video share with at least one person to subscribe it's gonna go a long way so we appreciate you if you've been doing this we appreciate you and um we we know you can do more yeah that was good to <laughs> we love you guys and thank you so much all right so what are we doing today babe awesome so today we're doing uh we're treating some topics that have stemmed from some of the q and a's we've had Mm -hmm. So we're not particularly doing Q&A, &A. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some topics, there's some questions from those Q&A that are around the same. Yes, and they need sweat. more time for us and to we, like Yes, we, we wouldn't be able to answer them in a Q&A, so we want to treat them like three or four of them, you know, and just talk extensively on them because they need some sort of extensive talk. So we yeah. hope that you are blessed and you enjoy this video. And stay. Don't let your attention span expire. Yeah. <laughs> Watch this video. Enjoy it. Relax. Relax. Have a cup of coffee and relax. <laughs> it's gonna bless you. Definitely. It's gonna bless you. Sure. So what's the first question around the same this it's all about relationships. Yes. Yeah, so the first question says I'm twenty three and getting tired of being single. What do you advise? So I think the same person asked three questions. So I'll just yeah. read all, all three. Uh -huh. um, then the next one says, how can I deal with the thoughts of being in a relationship with every one who mm -hmm. comes to collect my number? Or people who just innocently want to be my friend? Awesome. So she's 23 and she's getting tired of being single. You know? Yeah. And then what do I do? she's now no, basically. obsessively always thinking about <laughs> every guy in her life like could he be the one could he be even the one even if he just says oh can i just get your number even if they just want to they just want to be your friend and you're already <laughs> thinking that they could be the one yeah i think that let's start with the first one you know i mean you're 23 in my opinion you're very young well, at the same time my wife got married before 23 so you're not young the most important thing is that you know where you are in your life mm -hmm. and in God's plan for your life. Yeah. You cannot be obsessed about marriage or relationship mm -hmm. and then jump into it because you think that your time is running out. Yeah. Because it's more important to do it well. All right. So, you know, get a stronger value of yourself mm -hmm. and see if by when you realize the value of yourself, mm -hmm. you'll be busy and much busier than you have time to think about how much of uh, how much how single you are. Mm -hmm. And when you grow spiritually, and see to be very honest with you, spiritual growth and the knowledge of God just balances a lot of things out. When you grow spiritually, you know the Lord, you grow in His Word, you know, and you begin to understand that there's so much to my living than just getting to a relationship, getting married, having kids, and you know. You begin to like find if you, you begin to realize that Jesus expects so much of me. The Holy Spirit begins to correct your characters. Maybe those are the things that are even keeping you single. You don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you might be single because there are, there are a lot of things you are not fixing in your life, but you are not even you are even blinded to those things because your focus is a relationship, a relationship. And yeah. chances are that you have probably been in previous relationships yeah. that failed. So grow spiritually, have a stronger self, a stronger worth of yourself. Yeah, and, and God, is, God is more than enough to keep you preoccupied. Like, see, God <laughs> yeah. is more than enough to keep you preoccupied. He is. And another Absolutely. thing I would just want to add is just relax. I know it's not easy to relax because people, especially for women, women really don't have all the time in the world. Yes. There's a biological clock, there mm. is a lot of things that you feel like, oh, I want to get this settled before time and things like that. Just make sure you are relaxing. 
enjoy yourself as a single person. In fact, it is when you are relaxed that you bloom and blossom. Yes. Yes. You know, you're not stressing about, oh, relationship, relationship. You're not over, you're not thinking too much about it. Something that is not with you right now that you're not touching. The maximum you can do about it is pray about it. Pray concerning it. And plan. And plan concerning it. But that stress or anxiety, anxiety you just, it needs to relax. Yes. As long as you don't have it yet. And there's nothing your anxiety or your stress is going to do to get you that thing mm-hmm. that you need to relax yes. about it. And the Bible even says, be anxious for nothing. All right. Yeah. So to, to be very honest, your feelings are valid. You know, it very is valid. normal to feel that way. And nobody is saying, oh, no, well, well, who do you think you are? You, no, it's normal. All right. You just need to guide your thoughts, guide your emotions, you know, check what you obsess over. Are you, you know, always checking out a couple goes to social media and <laughs> obsessing have you taken so many screenshots and filled your house with it you know if no man is really coming around you or the people that are coming around you don't seem to be what you want you know it will be torture to always stress yourself about what you don't have yeah focus on what you have focus on your little blessings count them all right and and, and like she said god is more than enough to preoccupy you when you focus on god you realize what God can do in your life by changing you is a lot. Mm-hmm. What you can do for God in fulfilling his purpose is a lot. And trust me, in the process of that, you will meet your process. person. You, you will. It is you always will. it is always in the process of actually living your life, you know, in God, working for God and things like that. It is in that process that you actually find. Yes. You know. And one more thing I want to add to that, to everything, is... I know that there is that tendency to, you know, have crushes on people or have <laughs> or always think about, oh, this guy is fine. You know, ah, and it could be my husband, though. You know, ah, this guy, you know, everybody, everybody around you, coming around you just always looks like, could it be this? Could it be him? Could it be him? <laughs> Tell could me it? about it. <laughs> See, especially for crushes, yeah. just make your crushes friends. Mm-hmm. I learned, I don't know who even taught me that is dumb. Ah. I feel like it was just the Holy Spirit that taught me. That. I did the same thing. The exact just, same thing. Just and we never met make, before then. <laughs> just make your crushes friends. Like, you will crush on a lot of people. Yeah. Do you know the thing about making your crushes friends? Number one, it demystifies the crush. Yes. Like, it's literally oh, that waters it down. Feeling. Oh, that, oh, whatever. You are it just, just clear. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it reduces the pressure and the effect of the crush yes you know by being friends with that person and when you become friends with that the second benefit of that is you actually get to know them you know the real them you actually know the real them as a friend not you know when you start to, exactly not the version of question you know the funny thing is when you have someone that is a crush and things like that the person just looks so angelic looks so amazing like the best thing ever you know that the best thing ever <laughs> and then when you get into a relationship with them you might not, you just start on that uh, plane of, oh, we're not in a relationship, we're now boyfriend and girlfriend or whatever. And you don't actually get to see them as friends. Like, you don't see, you just, it's just all the love, love, love that is just wrapping your brain. You don't get to be friends with them and know the, the real them. Yes. You know, before you now start to develop real feelings for yes. them. Yes, I think that's right. And another danger to always crushing on everybody and trust me i've been there you know and i'll talk about that in a bit but another danger of always to always crush on everybody is that you know especially for girls most girls not all girls are very easy to read especially if the guy has had experiences with friends who are girls for example even though i never dated anyone before i met my wife I, I was very, very knowledgeable. I could tell when a girl likes me. Mm-hmm. I could tell when a girl likes that guy. I, <laughs> when we're watching a movie, I'm always going <laughs> to say, they're going to date. That is a sign. I'm, I'm Dr. Love like that. But yeah. girls can be easily read because many ladies like express emotion without even knowing your body language, how you did your legs, how you did your eyes when he was talking to you. We, some of us see all these things. They can take advantage of that not really liking you but they already know that yeah, you like them because you like them it makes or... the job so easy it's like yeah i get like me i just toast them don't worry and do you know what happens to you he asks you out to date him and you're like oh my god what just happened right now 
you forget all your manners. Everything they taught you in Sunday school. Because you are now like, I just have to say yes. This is what I've always wanted. Blah, blah, blah. And you forget the fact that you need to know if God approves of this relationship. Yeah. You start finishing. That's why saying, God, uh, I've started. But uh, let me pray. You now put the first thing last. Yeah. Then you don't even build friendship. You don't even now know this person. Is he aligned with where I'm going in life? Mm-hmm. I mean, we have a full series on finding, uh, choosing a life partner. And for the benefit of anyone who has not watched it, and I'll I will just say, now. I'll just say it in 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 a proverb. Go and watch that video now that you can. There will be a time that there will be a time that, be able that to just watch the it. video will not be available just like that anymore. Yeah, because it's so much wisdom and and, and value. Maybe we'll put some value on it so that you can appreciate it. But it's still free, at least for, for the rest of this year. Yeah, at least we don't so know watch about it. next year. But watch it. For the rest of this year, it's okay. still free. <laughs> all right. That's all I'll say on that. All right. So as I said, I've been in this you know, case before. Where before I met my wife, I mean, I was always obsessing. There was a time in my life. And my crush then was giving me tough times. So I was always thinking, could it be this person? Could it be this person? Could it be this person? What I realized it did to me was I was unstable. Mm. And I was focusing on the wrong things. Yeah. So like you said about the first uh, question about just being at rest honestly just be at rest and believe that god will bring the man that he has proposed for you yeah and when new people come yeah. to your life treat them as friends yeah make your crushes your friend yeah i can't count how many friends i have today that i have once crushed them yeah and they, they end up becoming good friends good and if, good good and friends. if they are meant to be something more then they will be they will yes. be, the friendship would actually grow and develop and get there definitely so definitely yeah all right, so let's do the next question. Yeah, so so what some other person says, um, are you ready for Canadian weather? And I think the same person asks, um, if you ever visit Montreal, let me know. I would love to meet you both. You are so down to earth. Oh, are yeah. we ready for Canada weather? Yeah, I think Canada, we are. Canadian already, winter. Winter. Yeah. I think we are. Winter is here already. I mean, the vlogs should come out soon. We're I mean, what's, what's the weather right now? We're vlogging, I mean, we are vlogging our experience with uh, the winter. It's actually crazy. We drove in the snow yesterday. Oh, it's even... What's the weather? Okay, it's, it's too good. It's the weather too today is right good. now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The weather is good today. So, I mean, I think we're ready. I believe we're ready. Uh, we have winter... Uh, we have all season tires. Um, our car has a lot it's of snow mode and a lot of that. benefit that makes it easy. For example, before uh, we go into the car, let's say we visit somewhere and the car is outside and it's cold, I can start the car on my phone for like ten minutes. It has already warmed the steering, warmed, mm-hmm. turn on the heater. So I just enter the car and I'm I'm warm. You know, so God yeah, is helping us. We're fine. Ready. I think we're fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and what of visiting Montreal? Yeah, visiting Montreal. I'm not sure about that, but we are coming to Calgary. Yeah, we're coming to Calgary. So we're coming to Calgary in December, and we're going to be spending like two weeks in Calgary. And I don't want you to say, "Oh, we came to Calgary." We know announced. We have announced now, but I'm not sure we're going to do a meet and greet because it's going to be cold. Yeah. All right. So, except you guys don't mind, then let us know, especially in the comment section. Uh, if there's anything about it, make it in capital letters so we don't miss, miss it. it. Yes, mm-hmm. we can take notes uh, of how many. If it's good enough, we might reach out again and say, okay, you know what, you know, fill this form and we'll meet at a you know regular place. Yeah. And if not, we will go and we will come back. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to cover sure. Yeah, there. Yeah. I'm yeah. very open to meeting you guys. I mean, yeah. Okay, so there's this one that says, "Have you fully adjusted to life after relocation?" Guys, God has been faithful. That's what I can say. God has been faithful when it comes to adjusting. Like it doesn't feel like we've just spent um, close to eight months yeah. here. It doesn't feel that. It way. Doesn't feel it that. Feels way. like we've been here for longer. Yeah, it feels like we've been here for longer, and it's been. It's just been God. Like God has given us people around us. You know, God has given us a, an amazing church, a church family. Yes. You know. And we are pretty much settled in. Like we are literally already in the choir. We are li- we are we are settled in. You know, in and every way. living our lives here. Yeah. I mean, in every, in every way. way, we're settled in. In every way, in my opinion, I believe we're settled. And it's been amazing. Yes, God has been faithful. Okay, there's this last one that says how to deal with friendship breakup. Oh, do you have anything to tell hmm. about that? <laughs> how to deal with friendship breakup? Okay, let me say this: friendships are important you know and 
I'm a friendship kind of guy. Yeah. I'm the kind of guy that... Much more than me. Yes, much more than my wife. She's improving. And I must give it to my wife that, yes, she has... My, uh, one day I'll talk about my wife's growth. It's been amazing. Morphing. Morphing. Metamorphosis. Yeah, it's been, it's been, you know, she's melancholy, but she's really improving and I'm really grateful. So, but I mean, I'm a friendship guy. I don't let go of friendships easily because if it takes me this long to become friends with you, I can't stop being friends with you overnight, right? I have that principle. But at the same time, if a friend decides that he or she doesn't want me in their lives, whether in words or in action, yeah. after I've tried to reach out and intentionally, you know, try to build this friendship again. And I realized with, without reasonable doubt that this person doesn't really want me around. I'll respect myself and move on. Yeah. But the most important thing is that that person can be your only friend. Mm -hmm. So you should have friends that are more than just one, two, three, that are actually, you know, in line with where you are going in life, in mm -hmm. line with what you see yourself doing in the future. So based on that, you can't feel so devastated. It's not like your life partner left you. <laughs> Yeah. You understand what I mean? Yeah. So you can't be so devastated. I know it could be heartbreaking. Especially if you have sacrificed for this friend and they don't just act like you know you, you know you deserve you their mm -hmm. yeah, like you matter, yes. Well see, life happens. Yeah. You know, so you have to just move on mm -hmm. and move on as much as you can. But not that oh every fight with your friend you break up. No. Be a free we need people in this world. Mm -hmm. We need the gift of people. You need when you get to a new place, you need to make new friends. But at the same time, don't leave the friends you have, you know, behind. For example, here in Canada, we have new friends. Mm -hmm. But I still keep my friends from Nigeria. Yeah. And we still talk every once in a while. It's important to nourish relationships. But I once again, if they break up with you, because there's such a thing as friendship breakup. Yeah, there is such a thing. Yes. If they break up with you... I mean, it doesn't happen often. Sometimes it's unintentional. Yes. But there is such a thing as Yes. That. So, if they do, it's not you, it's me. For you, <laughs> that cliche line, just move on. Yeah. You know, like, it's not It's not the end of the world. Mm -hmm. And there's another thing I want to add. It's Just as you said, it's, it's not the end of the world. So, don't feel bad. Mm -hmm. Sometimes friends actually... Are not meant to be lifelong friends. Mm. Sometimes it's like that. Some of them are Sometimes for a period because in your life. exactly it's for a period in your life. Not that you should use and dump people. That's not what oh. I'm saying. But sometimes it's just it's just a natural course of life. It just happens that you don't just talk anymore and you're just not friends anymore. Mm. I mean, you should try to maintain friendships, maintain them as much as you can. But don't drag, don't keep dragging everybody you meet along all through your life's journey. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they are not meant to go through the entire journey with you. They're just meant to be in a particular portion of it and then you continue and move on. Yeah. So. Okay, so that is it for this video. Yeah. Um, we're going to film another video where we talk about marrying young and the importance of marrying young and the benefits in here and there. Um, so watch out for that in a few days after this video. Mm -hmm. um, but that is it. We hope this video blessed you. If yeah. you did, drop a like, like this video, drop a comment, let us know that you're happy to see us again. Yeah. You know, and of course, share this video, let it bless someone else, mm -hmm. and subscribe if you haven't. Yeah. Follow us on all our social media handles, and we'll see you in our next video. Mm -hmm. So, till we come your way again, keep loving, and keep believing. We are the Stalwart Lovers. lovers.